Busters, here we go. It is uh, Thursday, the 7th of March. Uh, unfortunately, I can't be there. A family event come up. Should be back tomorrow, but we are going to go ahead and continue with business as usual. You guys know how things roll in here, and I think you're used to it. You should be able to handle it um, even without me being there. If you need additional help on the test, you can go ahead and ask for it when I'm back in person tomorrow. It's built into the schedule anyhow. So for today, we're going to follow along in the slides of daily activities. We are in Unit 4, cruising and infusing our bit.ly this unit. Three Lima Golf, Alpha India, Zulu Golf. It's there on the screen and it's on the agenda board. The slides are also posted directly on Schoology. Maybe be checking your emails or Schoology. Support your team, sit with your team, work hard and be nice. Respect our materials. We teach peace. Um, we're going to keep our phones away. If you run into a struggle, take a step back. Flop like Rosie. Breathe in. Breathe out. Wiggle it about. Now you're ready to figure this out. Um, for today, uh, I know it usually says this anyhow, but sit with your team is going to be an expectation because it's test day, so we're not going to be moving around because then I find people have a tendency to want to be social, and I'm not interested in what other people can say about your test. I'm interested in what you know about your test. Um, so, yeah, that's what's going on today. Our table of contents, uh, you can see that today is the Unit seven, uh, unit 4 Summative. Um, so tomorrow we have trading keyboarding. We're actually going to be doing uh, an addition that I call uh, Test or Keys. Uh, you'll see a little bit more in the future units for those of you who are sticking around. Uh, sixth grade, obviously, it's not applicable. The end is nigh coming up next week on Monday. Uh, that's not Bill Nye. It just means the end is near. Uh, then Unit 4 Drop Dead coming up on Tuesday. So the final frontier will be coming up on Wednesday for sixth grade. Um, and for seventh and eighth grade, you guys are going to have your regular keyboarding next Wednesday. You're going to begin Unit 5 next week, for, uh, Thursday. So that's what we got going on there. But Unit 4 Summative coming up to today. I can use feedback from classmates to make projects and programs better. I can manage my time wisely so I can get projects done while working alone or with partners. I'll consider what I did, how the project could be improved for the future, and both my process and the overall directions. I can predict how what I worked on could be good or bad for the world overall as we continue into the future, and I'm able to create my own work using the tools provided. How do I use feedback to make projects and programs to make projects better? How do I manage my time? What improvements could be made on my challenge? How is my challenge related to the outside world? What work could I create with the provided tools? I can write what I've learned, or I can speak to what I've learned through this challenge. So uh, final questions before the test. Open forum, answer one another, take a pause. There's usually none, so even though I'm digital, I'm going to assume <laughs> none. Um, our test day PSA will be coming at you in a minute and then review our depth of knowledge of questions. And I have some new notes on that, so I'll go ahead and keep that here in the vlog as well. It'll be a longer vlog, but that's because I'm not there in person. And you'll have your final Fuse Challenge Summative Report. Uh, I just double-checked. It's all unlocked. Questions are all uh, accurate to where they should be, so you should be good to go on that on that uh, Summative Report posted on Schoology as well as here in the slides. If you get everything done, you're doing some Fuse Challenge work time. It is silent, though, until all quizzes are done. The exit ticket will be that. Uh, Yas, Queen. Nah, bro. Did you finish your test? Um, so, Unit 3, nine people skipped the final quiz. That's across all classes, so all things considered, getting better. Um, but still, we'd like everybody to do it because choosing not to take the quiz is a choice to fail. It's the same as turning in a blank paper. When your time comes, which is going to be in about five minutes, stay focused, do your best. Remember, IDK, NA, uh, similar responses do not count for points. Might as well just skip it if that's what you're going to put. Um, you know, go ahead and type in skip. If you need more time, you'll let me know in the exit ticket, and all today's work is due no later than this coming Tuesday. So after that's four, I did not try. You know what the depth of knowledge looks like. Uh, this is the third time we're doing the full test, but also the pop quizzes, so it's technically the fifth time you're getting assessed on this stuff. You know what the depth of knowledge is. You know what the learning standards are. Let's take a look at what those standards look like. Though. Let me get myself out of the way. Uh, go ahead and let these talk bubbles speak for themselves. 1.1 is a drop-down section. It's worth zero points. You just select which challenge you completed. Really simple. 1.2. This is the pick three skills off the wall. Don't make it up. Use the word wall. Um, honestly, you can just grab three words off the word wall. Boom, boom, boom. Put them in for 1.2. Just make sure you actually have three separate vocab words. Some of the words are phrases or two word words. Um, then for 1.3, where it says I can discuss the steps I took to hone or learn my three or more skills, describe. How did you use the skills from 1.2? Don't just repeat the skills or give new skills. Describe what you did. Um, for part two, 2.1, 2 
Um, what was your timeline? Did you follow the Fuse site? Did you make a plan? Did you use a calendar? Um, probably one of those is what you did. Like if you just, if you didn't have a plan, you still were then probably following the Fuse site. 2.2, uh, it's really opinion. You did it. You kind of did it. You didn't do it. That's why it's zero points. I can identify my ability to follow my timeline. Why is it there if it's zero points? It helps uh, you and me understand your answer to 2.3. How did your timeline help? 2.2 looked at how looked at if you followed it. So now what made your timeline good or bad? How did it actually help you or hurt you? Uh, 3.1, we've talked about this before. This one, it's not about you. It's not about the name of the challenge. Tangled isn't the main character in Tangled. Um, how are the skills used in the outside world? What's good about that? What's bad about that? So the skills are looking at words from the word wall. Not every single word is a skill. And do keep in mind that 19th century skills and 20th century skills are overarching concepts. They are not specific skills we want to look at uh, for this question or for back in section one. Uh, go ahead and pick something more specific. Try to make sure it's a skill set. And then how are those skills useful in the outside world? What's good? What's bad? Section four, two things you like about the challenge, the steps, the materials, the timing, etc. cetera. Uh, 4.2, two things you dislike about the challenge. Steps, materials, timing, etc. How would you change these two things? That's worth four possible points. What two things do you dislike? And how would you change those two things? And then based on 4.1 and 4.2, you changed the challenge. Your answers to those should have made changes. How is the challenge now better for people who do it in the future? Section five. I'd love to say nobody has struggles on this. It's pretty clear, but still some people struggle. Uh, it's five total points, really straightforward anyhow. Um, but uh, yeah, so I can describe the feedback I received from my teacher or classmates. We have opportunities for that in class. Please do not put down, I didn't talk to anybody. If you didn't talk to anybody, then you weren't following the schedule through the class anyhow. I can identify two or more ways that that feedback improved my work on my challenge. And then I can describe the feedback I did which you should have done, it's built into the unit, or would submit to a classmate, and I can describe how that would help them complete their challenge. That's what you got there. That's, that's the information. So here is your summative. It is on slide 85. Unit 4 final quiz, uh, 4 Alpha 8, Zulu Papa, Zulu India. It's also posted on Schoology. If you have time, take a look at the unit evaluation. It should be at the bottom of Schoology. And then you got time for your open fuse challenges. As Chef Voltaggio reminds us, if you're not nervous, you don't care. Have a really great day. Be nice to everybody. Love you. Happy Thursday. See you tomorrow.